December the 1st, 1916. We discovered a hole in a room leading to a warehouse. We made a floor with rocks and wood, but I'm not sure it's safe. If someone can check on that. We want to run an ammo delivery, and we have to be sure it's safe. November 30th, 1916. Barbed wire monsters are everywhere, coming out of the ground and taking the dead. I tell you, it's because of our sins. Ghosts want the dead to fertilize the soil. Then they can summon their creatures to fly all around and torment us. One of these monsters is in our sector, summoning his creature by his very presence. December the 12th, 1916. There's nothing on the horizon, just smoke and ashes and dust, walking among things too horrible to think about. Bits of my friend's body are under my feet, his leg above me, high on the side of the trench, his head with a great gaping hole over there. Fallen trench is all around us. And then, it's bombs, and screaming, and pain, everybody fighting. Bodies are heaped so high in the middle of no man's land, we have no idea where we'll bury them, let alone have any thought of a funeral. How could we have one? And when? And who would come anyway? I block the entrance with rock, in case they can't hold them back further along. I've got food, guns, lights, and a spare gas mask. But perhaps if we use that machine we found, we could end this nightmare. Because I think it could be some kind of weapon. I've got to help them. If someone finds this letter, or my body, at least people can know I tried. 1916, day and months unknown. Each day is either tedium or terror. We continue to wait for the orders from the surface. Many of the mining machines are inoperative, and they tell us it is the fault of the Britishers. I do not believe it. Our superiors know that we are running low on supplies, but they do nothing. Rations grow more scarce. There are a thousand men down here, and there is not enough food for all. Each day we dig, expanding the caves, recovering more of the red rock. Our engineers struggle to keep the equipment running, and the beasts down here keep coming back. We were forced to blow the bridge across the chasm to hold them off. They came at us in waves, demonic things crawling from the darkness, smashing our vehicles and machinery. We will have to find some other way to transport our gear.
This is revenge! I can't remember who's good or bad, but I'm the guy with the guns.